Hello and welcome to this time of meditating on the Word of God. It's such a joy for me to meet you through this sharing time. One of the things that we face in our lives is the pain of rejection. Many times there are children brought up in the families who have been told by the parents or the teachers that you are good for nothing. You cannot make it in this subject. Maybe in your childhood you have gone through something like that. Somebody told you repeatedly or somebody uh, dealt you, handled you in a way that you felt that you are nobody. And that rejection is so painful. It's not only painful, but it can cause serious damage in the mind, in the emotions. And obviously, after a time, the child starts to believe that he or she is a nobody. He or she is good for nothing. or They cannot do well in that subject. Or they cannot shine in life. So when they start believing it, then they say, now, what's the point of studying? What's the point of making efforts? Because I'm a nobody. So you see, word of rejection is spoken, and then the child or the person starts believing it, and then the consequence is a hard heart and failure and so on and so forth. Today, the Spirit of the Lord wants to tell you that whatever rejection that you've been through, God wants to talk to you something very special from the Word of God. The Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 12, that whosoever believes and has received Jesus, him the Father has given, or them the Father has given the great privilege to be called as the sons and the daughters of God. So basically, when you accept Christ, God the Father accepts you as his own son, as his own daughter. So what kind of an acceptance is this? Isn't it amazing that God, the creator of heaven and earth, says that I accept you. No matter whoever has rejected you, I accept you. You are my son. You are my daughter. You are very special to me. Even in, in the epistle to Ephesians, Paul writes to tell that we are accepted. When we accept Christ, we are accepted in the Beloved. Now, who is the Beloved? To the Father. Jesus is the Beloved to the Father. So when you accept Christ, you are God's special. You are God's Beloved. God tells you, you are so special to me. No matter wherever you've been rejected, maybe in your office, you're rejected. Maybe at your school, you're rejected. Maybe at your, in your family, you've been rejected. Maybe you've been rejected by your own husband or your own wife or your own brothers or sisters. I tell you, because of Jesus, God accepts you and you're special to God. There's a story in the Bible in, chapter, in, in Luke chapter 15 where a young man leaves his father with a fortune and he loses everything, living a very bad life. But then he realizes that he can go back to the father because he was so hungry, but he then knew that even the servants in the father's house will eat so well, so sumptuously, when he was suffering for a meal. So he goes back to the father to tell him, Father, I have sinned against you and God, and I'm no longer worthy to be called as your son. He actually was confessing his sin, and he was telling, he was rejecting himself, I'm no longer worthy. He knew that he was a rejected stuff. But what did the father say? 
The Bible says in Luke 15 verse 20, And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Just think about that. The father saw him afar. And then he, he, when he saw him, his heart was moved with compassion. He didn't feel angry. He didn't feel upset. Oh, this fellow is coming back. No. He was able to see him afar because the father was waiting for him, waiting to accept him. You have a heavenly father who is waiting to accept you, waiting to tell you, you are accepted. No matter whoever has rejected you, I accept you. And that's, this, that's what God is telling you today. As you put your trust in Christ, if, if you're a child of God, then God accepts you in Christ. He had compassion. In other words, his heart melted. Acceptance just flowed like a river. It flowed like a river. Love was flowing like a river towards the son who was coming back. Now, remember that the son had not even spoken one word saying that, I'm sorry, even before he spoke a word of apology or repentance or confessing of sin, compassion was flowing like a river. And then the father ran. This guy was walking, uh, but the father was running. And he fell on his neck. He embraced him, and then he kissed him. Now this, this young man was with the pigs, with the swine. How dirty he would have been. He embraced and kissed him. Just imagine, God is accepting you today. He wants to tell you, you are special to me, no matter wherever you're standing in your life today. God is telling you, as you trust in Jesus, as you trust in my son, I accept you. And when that acceptance flows like a river, the rest of the story tells us that he gave everything that he had lost. I want to talk to you about that in my next uh, time when I meet you. But for now, just tell the Lord, tell God, God, I believe in Jesus. I come to you. I receive your acceptance. I'm no longer a rejected person. I am accepted by the King of the universe. Amen. Have an awesome day. Have a blessed time. And expect great things to happen in your life. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.